Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to more PN03. I'm still Negroth. I have uh, Jay with me today. Hey. Hey. And we got we got some lovely mission or menus I wanted to show off really quick. Uh, mostly also to show off that I am a loser and I grinded the hell out of some points because you gotta show off all the suits and being amazing. Yeah, although, uh, as you can see, the suits do have different abilities. These first-tier suits are mostly shit. <laughs> yeah, and the way you grind money is that in between every mission, you get trial missions, which are 15 randomized rooms that get exponentially harder and harder uh, after every level. But, well, let's not worry about that. We got an important mission ahead. And important talkiness. Yeah, I decided, I said this time to actually leave in the dialogue, in case you're wondering what the fuck we're going to be doing. We're not actually going to be fighting Sunflower, instead our client is telling us that we have to go destroy the core to weaken the Sunflower, and something about dominoes, I don't know. Yeah, she, she was a deprived child if she thinks knocking down single dominoes was the game. It's it's how the Cubans taught her, and it's how she uh, she learned to live with that mm. in s space Cubans. But uh, does this room seem familiar? It should because it's the same one we started in the other level, except now it's dark. So there there's that. And we've actually looked up the enemy names now. Yeah, we do have we do have a few enemies, but. First, they wanted to make sure that we knew about the lasers that are apparently going to be our our main issue for the level. E yep. Except they really aren't. They they're they do they're not. No. They. I, I just I just wanted to show off the roll really quick. Now. You you figured out the name of these guys? Yeah, I figured out the name of those guys. Let me just look at that one because that's one that. I didn't actually look at beforehand, <laughs> but I thought I th I think whenever whenever we were doing it before, you said they were like sea rows. That particular one with the machine gun is actually a walnut. <laughs> so that's a, that one's a walnut. Yeah. By the way, I these these are all in German. You don't you don't feel like using your your Welsh accent to pop out the German? Well. Good example. Of that one's a pilz or a pear. Okay. And the ones that look similar but with missiles are pilz M. Pilz M. While I think I think those are pilz M next to the C the C rows. Uh, I think they're just normal pilz. But that middle guy is a C rose. By the way, my German accent is pretty terrible, but you know what? I can live with it. So so can you. Yeah. Also, I, g I got a little bit better at using the energy drive, so I, I now spam the shit out of them because they really give you a lot of energy to use. So and we'll use it. Invincibility frames. Yeah, those are those are probably the the best usage of them. Especially, I there's actually a later energy drive that just gives you six seconds of invincibility. Ah, yeah, the barrier of some sort. They they've got oh. flashy names and. Yeah, that that one is called Tingu, which I think is so, like some kind of Japanese demon. Uh, it's a bird, th raven demon. Yeah, I re it's the one with like the the penis nose. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And um, yeah, all pretty much all the energy drives are named after birds. Most of them. Yeah, I I, I, well, I was just gonna say I think the ones that I'm using right now is called like Gullwing and. Dove, yeah, maybe. I believe the one with the multiple attacks is the gold wing. Yeah. So, yeah, fruit, flowers, birds, and in one case we've got a flowering thorny bush. That, I which one? I, I you guess haven't, we haven't run into. No, you haven't run into them yet. But when you do, they're uh, ranka. Which that. can be a flower, but it's also a name, it's also a German word for tendril, shoot, branch, briar. <laughs> yeah, I think someone posted a picture of it in, in the thread, 
for some innocuous reason, I'm sure. Yeah, I also posted up the guide section for enemies. Um, but I, I guess I mean, there were, there are some lasers. Uh, they got kind of erratic, I guess. But yeah, the, this is actually a really short level in comparison to the first mission, which this this particular mission only actually has six rooms, and I think the first mission had 21. Yep. And was infinitely harder than this, especially since the fact that at this point you can actually power up your stuff. So as of right now, I've got a lot more health. I've got actually a more powered up shot, even though the vigil doesn't change. And uh, I do have access to a new energy drive. I, I've, I've been using it here and there, but it's it's basically just a ball of energy that whenever it hits something, it explodes outwards. I don't I don't know if I use it again because it's got very limited usages. But. Yeah, the other thing to talk about is how the combo system works, because it's actually kind of dickish. Yeah, uh, basically the, the harder an enemy is, the more time you're given, but it's not additive. So it's not like the quicker you kill things, the more time you get. It's more, this enemy will always give you X amount of time, this is what your combo meter is going to be set to. So if you kill a weaker enemy, like uh, one of the little satellite that shoots PP lasers. Oh, the kill yep. short cherry. Yeah, that sounds exactly what that is. But yeah, if you kill one of those, it'll always give you three seconds. So if you actually had, you know, nine seconds left on a combo meter and shot one of those, your combo meter would be set down to like three seconds and you'd be fucked at killing anything else. So it's basically down to either coping with the awful targeting system to keep your combo meter up and kill the big enemies first, or just take what you can get. Yeah, and that long empty corridor with the free power-up shows us that we are now at the end of the stage. And in case you just had no thought process or, you know, brain. Brain. If you were brain dead and playing this, that makes sense. But yeah, uh, you can't shoot it through its protective shield, so you have to wait for the crosshairs to appear and then murder it. And it's really easy. I mean, the these lasers are instant death if they do hit you, so I guess that's dangerous, but... Invincibility frames. Yeah, constant, constant invincibility frames, so... Uh, we shot we shot the core for a massive damage. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah. But with that out of the way, that, that's actually the end of Mission 2. Uh, and for reasons which will become clear later, not only bad fan service, but a bad masturbation joke. Yeah, but I am a destroyer. So, hopefully you'll join me next time. Thank you for joining me, Jay. No props. See you soon. Bye.